Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Alejandro Gomez in central midfield. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. And he takes on the shot. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And Bellingham. Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far, and the attacking play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. And just over the bar, really good effort. Martinez. And the keeper did more than enough. Plenty of options. No way through. And will this corner bear fruit for them? And we're into the final half hour. Useful looking ball. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Kane must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. What a Mendy. Well, not hard to read that pass. from the keeper fantastic stop Martinez Martinez well there is a fine goalkeeper in action can they grab the lead late on can they forge ahead no at all because of the goalkeeper margins margins well he has done well there but he should have won the game they probably won't get another chance now Trying to pick out a teammate that might still be problematic. Henderson. John Stones. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Mount. Now Harry Kane. Harry Kane slips it through. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He's in control of the situation. Great pressure to win the ball back. 
Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Real chance. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Rashford. And the snuffing out of the cross there. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Mount. And the goalkeeper's touch. That was crucial. And the teams are level. And every corner counts at this juncture. Well, a fantastic final, and it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. We'll test the mentality of any footballer. So lethal in front of goal, and he steps up to take his penalty. And confidently converted. And he scores. Can he get the better of the keeper? And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. Oh, he saved it! In it goes! His turn to try to convert from the spot. Clinical, as always, in front of goal. And there it is, perfectly executed. And he's denied them from the spot. And now a heaven-sent opportunity to win the match. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. England, the world champions. Well, what a scene to witness. After 56 years of hurt, England need feel the pain no more. Well, what a night for the players, the coaching staff, and of course the fans who have roared England on tonight. What a night this is for English football.